Hello and weather. Welcome to another Jody Giant Veg. Um, I'm just at the hydroponic shop. I did a video a couple of days ago uh, and I thought I'd show you a little update of what's going on in the shop. Um, I don't know if you've seen what happened but I had a, um, a bit of a disaster with my greenhouse. I lost loads of panels in the greenhouse so I had to ship a lot of stuff to the shop um, and I'll show you what's going on there. I, I've turned the lights off in the tent because it affects the camera and it's all starts going waving it won't it won't work properly so um forgive me if it's a bit dark here's the two big heavyweight leaks in the pots there try and put my hand over for an equivalent they're doing well um nice healthy leaks i'm feeding them all sorts of bits and bobs some good nutrients and stuff like that and some nano They'll be getting some nano shortly, if you can see up there. Um, in these pots down here, I've got 10 pots, 10 3 litre pots, deep ones. I've got banger carrots for heavyweight section, heavy carrots. Um, and the cups closest is Cornish giant cabbages, and the cups away, the little white ones, they are giant red cabbages. So I'm going to try some of those. Um, and those air pots at the back, I've got some leeks. I've got my heavyweight onions here, which a couple of them will be getting potted up into a system shortly. I've got some of my leeks, which are at different stages. These ones are held behind a little bit. Well, I'm saying they're held behind. They're not actually that far behind. They're doing all right. Nice quality. But I've got these ones, which I've had under lights for a little while. I've put the button down on them a few times. Uh, so I'm happy with them. As you can see, there's a lot going on in here. I've normally got them under nine hours air, eight hours of light a day using this Gavita. I've got the Gavita turned on to uh, just above 400 there. Don't know if I can zoom in. But it's a Gavita Pro 650, 6-750 Flex. Lovely bit of kit. And these other two big onions, uh, leeks sorry I've got under just a simple HPS Geo Spectrum 600 high pressure sodium bulb um, in here so no, it's a bit brighter, I've got my four onions, heavyweight onions I'm growing and they're coming along really good happy with them and they're under a, a, um, a Spectrum King 400 plus LED light which I can't fault at the minute it's not getting too hot in here and um, the temperature isn't massive so yeah I'm, I'm loving that light at the minute seems a good bit of kit but the proof is in the pudding at the end of the season if I've got some decent onions from it then that'll be the judge so but it seems like everything's going good at the moment I've got plenty of big air pots in for a customer Um, I'm waiting for some water to come so I can get this system filled up. This is a Wilma dripper system and in here I'll be putting four of those big onions there. Um, I've got a lot of potting up to do. Some of those leaks will be going into three litre air pots. I've got them all made up there ready to go. I've got a few more over there ready to go. So I'll be getting those done. Here I have a flood and drain system. Um, now that my greenhouse is just about fixed I'm going to take that home install it in my greenhouse and I'm going to do some Cumbrian leeks in there someone said I believe there that you can't grow any decent Cumbrian leeks to any standard uh, you can't grow any leeks to any standard in a hydroponic system so I thought I'd give it a go and I'd try and prove some people wrong because I believe you can get good results so we'll see we'll see what happens with them I'm looking forward to having a bit of a dabble in it you know if you don't try you don't know so I'm a firm believer in that um, I'll show you me over here. I've got a my lemon tree, my little lemon bush. Yeah, they're starting to ripen up. I've got a couple of old ones at the bottom, but I've been given this nano as well and some Calmag. So as you can see, the leaves are nice and lush, and it's producing some lemons. So yep, yeah, I've just fed that today. I've been training it around here. So the, as you can see, the, the leaves are beautiful. It's just under a simple T5 light, four tube, two foot T5 light, which are 
uh, rel readily available in any hydroponic shop but I want to show you over here my seed swap wall if you're from the northeast or from anywhere if you're from anywhere near Newcastle near, near Brunswick Industrial Estate um, I'm, I'm not far if you get lost give us a phone call I'll, I'll guide you because I'm a bit tucked out the way but I've got a seed swap wall here and I want you to come in have a chat have a look at some things but I've just getting some really good seeds I, I'm part of a group called the EVGA and they send you some uh, outstanding seeds from all over Europe which have won all sorts of competitions and the seeds I don't use I've put on this wall so as you can see there's quite a lot so if you're wanting to try and grow um, for instance a huge pumpkin there's all sorts of big pumpkin seeds on here there's potleek seeds um, chili seeds there's even more chili seeds there I don't know if you can see it if I can focus it anyway as you can see there's tons of seeds there's loads of marrow seeds so if you're interested in growing a massive marrow and you're not sure about where to get the seeds from come down here take them off the wall as you can see massive huge pumpkins there'll be one massive seed in there um, again the seeds are free um, so just get you get yourselves down here and take the seeds off the wall if you're going to grow them I'd like to see people have a go growing pumpkins or big marrows there's, there's all sorts on there tons of different veg um, and if you've got any old packets of seeds that you you've got no intention of using and they're just going to go to waste bring them down stick them on the seed boards so other people can grow them and uh, take any any seeds you want away yeah so it's there's a lot going on at the moment I'm glad I finally got my greenhouse sorted out because I had an absolute nightmare with that um, it, I know this it's dark in there but it doesn't do them leaks any justice they are massive bearing in mind that these leaks these two leaks here are exactly the same age as these leaks over here they're the same age but they've had different additives nutrients and they've had a lot of light um, I've replicated summertime for them which I've had to adjust now I've got everything in here I've had to calm them down a bit they're all the all these leaks in here are the same age but they've had different levels of light and feed I thought to put them at different stages sort of thing so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with those and the onions as well they're cracking along now they've all got nine and ten fruits on them um, I know they look like they're bulbing a little bit but they're strong healthy plants and that light seems to be doing the trick I've got also got a bag of the exhale CO2 in there so thanks for watching uh, and like I say if you do want to come down I'm in Brunswick Industrial Estate in Newcastle look for me webpage Hydrotech Northeast um, and if you get lost just give us a ring and I'll guide you in come and grab some free seeds um, and bring some down if you've got any again thanks for watching I'll see you again on the next one